The amine functional group is a nitrogen atom that has three bonds, and those bonds are either to hydrogens or carbons. I'm just going to use the symbol R. We're going to know that that represents either a carbon atom or a hydrogen atom. So this is what we would call an amine. The amide functional group is really similar. It is also a nitrogen atom, and the nitrogen atom is bonded to a carbon atom that is part of a carbon-oxygen double bond. So it's a very specific type of a version of an amine. The other two bonds on the nitrogen atom could be either carbons or hydrogens, and then on the other side of the carbon atom, we could also have either a carbon or a hydrogen. So this is called an amide. And then we're just going to make a little note here that for both of these structures, R is going to either be hydrogens or carbon atoms. Now, amines can be further classified based on what these actual R groups are, like how many of them are hydrogens and how many of them are carbons. So for example, if we have an amine that has two hydrogens directly bonded to the nitrogen, and then out here we have a carbon, like let's just say it's a CH3, this we would call a primary amine. It's a primary amine because it has one nitrogen carbon bond. The symbol that we use if we want to abbreviate this is a one with like a little degrees sign on it. So this would be a primary amine. A secondary amine is a nitrogen that has only one bond to hydro hydrogen. So that means the other two bonds are bonds to carbon. So maybe it would look something like this. This again, we would call a secondary amine. And the symbol that we would use for that would be the two with the little degrees sign on it. And then the last one is a tertiary amine. This would be a nitrogen that has no bonds to carbon at all. I wanna draw one that maybe looks a little different from the other two that I've drawn. So because sometimes nitrogens are embedded into a ring like this. So this would be a nitrogen that has three bonds to carbon, one, two, three. No bonds to hydrogens at all. And this we would call a tertiary tertiary amine, abbreviate it with that three.